It's your job. I give you money, you give me ideas. Then you never say thank you. That's what the money is for. Okay, so if you're watching this, you could probably read what's on screen, but I, I encourage you to block that out because outside of that, I mean, right or wrong, no pullout. She's she's definitely bad. She can definitely get it. I mean, once again, she has not opened her mouth yet. Boys, it is so important for me to point out to you that before I press play, they be bad, right? <laughs> they be bad as hell. Like, oh, shit. She's sexy, like, damn, you know, like, my mom, what's up, what's your number, da, 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 yeah, yeah, but as is the case, even in real life, you just gotta listen for a little bit and come to realize that, yeah, it's, uh, maybe, maybe not, but, you know, off top, I mean, just physically, particularly in the face, because you guys know me, I love a pretty face, I mean, boom fantastic but uh them lips you know what I'm saying DSLs perfect but without further ado let's wreck this shit white supremacy is actually more destructive than misogyny oh my god Uh, okay, so the deal is, is that the white supremacy part is not particularly uh, of much interest to me, boys, but the uh, misogyny part, well, I don't know if you've noticed this or not, but I'm quite the misogynist myself, so I am rather interested to hear your theory, all right, as you sit there so confidently speaking to yourself. But it's the same thing. You're about to explain. You said yourself it's the same thing. When white supremacy and misogyny, conceptually, right? No, they are not. They, they Like, it, one is race, the other is gender. I think you're trying to say that racism is worse than sexism, but really, it's all two sides of the same coin. Break this shit down. White supremacy, domination, control, power. Now, what she's going to do is the, what CRT and CGT and all critical theory is designed to do, which is conflate shit. Now, when it comes to domination, control, and power, these, all three of these concepts, right, are like have so have varying dynamics that really are biological based particularly when you decide you want to throw gen quote unquote gender into it we over here we have no respect for gender biology biology is the shit and it really does clear up the way men and women have traditionally gone about life and <laughs> unfortunately when you have 50 or 50, 60 years of, you know, different uh, reams of academia rearing their heads and creating this type of confusion. Well, guess what? You have a whole subset of people who can basically explain away anything for themselves and create um, parallels where there really are none. Because when it comes to uh, race and je race and biological sex, I'm sorry, but... The, it, it, trying to meld them, to, trying to meld them together into one thing it really is just, you know, opening cans of worms that really have that really have no bearing in, um, you know, moving anything forward. It's just to keep the wheel spinning socially. But either way, sis, let's hear what you have to say about it. So about 500 years ago, a group of white supremacists came up with this system that we have now. We'll call this system level zero and then they cared about domination control and power we will call that level one and the way 500 years ago i'm telling you I, I, 
like when they sit there and say white supremacy but a lot of people came from um different places right like you know saying italy and the irish and jewish folks and uh black people or particularly uh you know descendants of slavery back then you know saying they were not 500 years ago type shit uh it's like yeah it everything uh came t came together and and then really strange and impressive way in order to create what it is that we here in the West, particularly in the United States of America, uh, get to really enjoy and reap the benefits of. But because you've had, you know, basically uh, quite a few years of relative prosperity and, um, yeah, basically relative prosperity, you've had the time to really think yourself <laughs> into the into the donut logic, into the spinning wheels. And here we are right now, because she's like, well, at the beginning, it was all about white supremacy. No, 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 no. The, see, in the beginning, sweetheart, only the strong survived. Now, the strongest and the smartest, and they were able to, you know, move things forward and move things forward through their family and through their family and it is what it is. We are where we've landed. But to sit here and go back and retroactively say, well, it was about color or, you know, say it was about this color coordination that we had back then. Like the color coordination was nowhere near set in stone the way it has been, the way it's been solidified since the uh, 50s, 40s, 50s. I mean, even longer than that. But, you know, not 500 years which they maintain their domination, control, and power is via patriarchy, racism, capitalism, ableism, and a couple of other things. Ableism. But that's the thing, sweetie. I think particularly when it comes to building things, right? Ladies. You're not, Initially, right? But that's the thing. No, not in, initially. Think about it. A lot of... Uh, the work, right? When it came to work, it became uh, when it came to uh, slave work. Much of it was uh, pick, picking uh, cotton and like something that, yeah, definitely women can do too. But I can guarantee you, on average, dudes did it uh, did it faster and like and uh, and honestly, it an automation had a huge role in actually dis, uh, dispelling, uh, uh, destroying slavery to an extent um it was the like patriarchy i mean there were male slaves because of the different biological differences that we have capitalism i mean yeah and and once again cap but here's the thing about capitalism capitalism once how do i put this it, like when it became cheaper to get a machine to pick the cotton as opposed to owning and housing slaves to pick the cotton it's really uh, it, it really does solve more problems than, <laughs> than, uh, like, like you don't get, you know, gin presses and the like, you don't get that type of stuff without capitalism, without there being a need for the product in and of itself. And unfortunately, particularly, you know, oh, so long ago, people were considered, pro people are product to this day, to this day. And that's one of the problems that I have with a lot of the, you know, of what's considered intellectual space. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa but that's the thing. Right now, there are women being trafficked. There is slavery taking place in Libya. And you want to sit here from the comfort of uh, from wherever the hell this uh, young lady's from or at uh to like to sit here and talk about how oh, white supremacy and the like like sweetheart so like yeah, cut it the fuck out and pre and basically count your blessings i'm probably forgetting right now and we will call that level two and then underneath level two we have level three which are usually the things that we complain about and we all familiar with these things i hope Oh, yes, we are all familiar with these things. Let's see, it was homophobia, transphobia, and we uh, colorism. Oh, Jesus Christ. So, you know, is, this is like, this is the critical theory j word jambalaya. Uh, let's keep it moving on. Greed. Things, I hope. Uh, powers. Climate crisis. Things, I hope. Like all these. So when we oh, uh, what was the last two over there? And we all familiar with these things, I hope. Uh, mental ableism. Oh my God! Under ableism is mental ableism, and what's that say? Physical ableism. Are you kidding me, lady? Lady, can't help but notice that's a that's a right hand. I know the ring goes on the left hand. So when we have discussions such as pets over people, but casual racism isn't a big deal. 
We need black liberation, but keep the gays away from me. Oh, these intersectionalists, bro. These intersectionalists. Like, ain't like no one's having these kind like people are having these conversations. I can guarantee you that, but they're not having them anywhere you can listen to. <laughs> Oh man, like seriously, I would if if I were white right now, I would be every time I go into my house, I'd be just like make sure it's not bugged and shit. <laughs> then just go and then just go ham. But uh yeah, like I I we need black uh liberation. Oh my god. Cuz you know, the the, the Cornell West and and and, and, and the pro blacks and all those fucking grifters, uh they like she's just it's all the intersectionalism. It's this is ridiculous. Racism doesn't exist. I'm poor and I'm. I don't. Who says racism doesn't exist because they're poor and they're white? Right. We're actually just slowing ourselves down because we're all victims of the same system. But some of us can be hit by different sides of level two. Hence intersectionality. Yeah. So what do we say, boys? Because I think she's cute. Like, she can catch it. But once again, it opens her mouth and this bullshit comes spewing out. Oh, I, I think we have uh, run this well dry. I don't want to spend too much because, like, how many times can I really sit here and like, yeah, yeah, see, intersectionality is just a whole bunch of wonky bullshit with a, with a, a crap ton of revisionist history and the deal is that no matter what it is it's something particularly when you're trying to go back five four hundred five hundred years oh man I, I haven't been able to break out five hundred years for a while now okay it's like an old uh like an old suit i rarely get to wear because i'm like honestly i stopped uh honing in on the wokey wokes but at the same time i mean you know she can get it so guys with that being said we're gonna bring this one to an end all the internet stuff if you like it so i said like this like go ahead do that too nobody's scared of you sub you a fantastic voice and when i get videos like this every single day share because sharing is caring and youtube and bitch you don't like are the biggest fans of your boy over here for very obvious reasons bang the bell for notifications get something from teespring check me out on patreon as well links in the description I actually go in the description box and do damage i think that's probably like the best way to get a whole lips real pouty right there it's kind of sexy yes. Pizza. Dang it. Twitter step. Hold on. I hope. Okay, well not, well, not what it was. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think in the comments. I keep telling y'all, this intersectionality bullshit is a clown show. Eh. <laughs> but they're, a lot of their messengers... Eh. Yeah, I, I, I definitely stroke out. But you may disagree. That's what the comment section's for. Until the next one. Jimmy, you're thinking with your dick. I am not thinking with my dick. Yes, you are. No, I just think that Put she's, a, dick away. she's a emotional, Jim. interesting, caring girl. Jimmy, that's your dick talking.